Hey guys, welcome back. You may remember a couple of months ago I was looking for a good budget entry level detector for my grandkids to use and I did a review on this Marner 810. Well, they've been using it for a while now and they really like it, but the only problem I'm left with is I've got five grandkids and only one detector. So I've already been looking for another one and recently a company called Dr. Otec reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in reviewing one of their detectors. So I said, sure, you know, if, as long as you don't mind an honest review, send it on out. So what I have here today is the Dr. Otec MTXR, and this is supposed to be the whole kit with a digger and all. So today I thought we'd do an unboxing, uh, go over some of the features, maybe do some air tests, and then take it to the park and try it out. So if you know somebody who's wanting to get into the hobby but on a tight budget, stick around and check it out. Okay, let's see what we got here. It says backlit display waterproof search coil requires a 9 volt battery included five operation modes six discrimination segments depth indication and sensitivity pretty standard stuff Okay, so along with the detector, here's what you're going to get. comes with a pretty nice carrying case, a rain or dust cover, and I guess what I'm most impressed with is the digging tool. You know, a lot of these budget level detectors come with digging tools, but most of them are really flimsy and will bend after a few uses, but this one actually seems pretty heavy duty. It's about the same size as a Lesh or this one from Predator Tools. You know, only time will tell how well it's going to hold up, but first impressions are it seems like it's pretty heavy duty. As far as the detector itself, it's nice and lightweight. Good lock up on the uh, cams there. No real noticeable wobble. So, pretty nice. We'll see how it goes. Okay, really quickly, we'll go over some of the controls and features. Here we have the uh, power button. And right next to that is your volume control button. Each time you press it, it'll get a little bit louder until it goes back down to its lowest level. Okay. On the other side here, we have your sensitivity button. Once you press it, the level will start blinking and you can use your plus and minus keys to raise or lower your sensitivity. Next to that is your mode button. First one up is memory mode, which works sort of like learn accept on some of the other machines. You can wave a target in front of the coil and it'll only accept targets within that range. Uh, next up is jewelry mode, which basically just eliminates iron. And then all metal mode and then finally back to discrimination. Once you're in discrimination mode, you can use the plus and minus keys to eliminate or accept certain target ranges. For example, if you were only looking for coins, you might want to accept everything from 70 on up. Okay, just below that is your pinpoint button. And this thing does have a backlight, which you turn on by holding down the volume button. Of course, you won't be able to see it because it's too bright out here. Uh, across the top here you have icons representing target ranges and it does have a nice size VDI readout which you'll see a little bit later when we do the air test. On the bottom right here you've got your depth meter. Next to that is going to be your battery power level, sensitivity in the middle, volume level on the bottom left, and your mode on the left side there. I forgot to mention earlier, it has a 10 inch waterproof coil. It takes one nine volt battery and it does have a headphone jack on the back side of the display there. Okay guys, we all know that air tests don't really tell us much about targets in the ground, but at least it'll give us a general idea of the kind of depth we can expect. Here I have a Indian head penny, a V nickel, a barber dime, a barber quarter, a barber half, and a Morgan dollar. And then also have a small silver ring, a 10 carat ring, and a 14 carat ring. Let's see how these targets do. We'll start with the Indian head penny. Looks like he hits it all the way out to about seven and a half inches. Not too shabby. Okay, next up is the uh, V nickel.
again right around seven and a half inches next up is the barber dime so it looks like about six six and a half inches on the barber dime next up is the barber quarter seven and a half starts to cut out right at about seven and a half inches next up is the barber half again right around seven seven and a half inches okay now we have the morgan dollar Seven and a half, eight. Right around eight inches on the Morgan dollar. That's pretty good. Okay, next up is a small silver ring. Right around six inches. Next up we have a 10 karat gold ring. Right around five and a half, six inches. And then finally we have the uh, 14 karat gold ring. Seems to like the 14 karat a little better. It hits it all the way out to about seven and a half inches. All right guys, let's see if this thing can actually find some stuff. I've got a few targets marked off here. We'll go ahead and start with this one. That's reading upper 70s to lower 80s. And I forgot to mention, this thing actually has VCO audio in the pinpoint mode. Uh, what that stands for is voltage controlled oscillator. And basically what it does is the closer you get the center of the coil to the target, the higher the pitch it's going to give you. It's a useful tool to uh, speed up the pinpointing process. It's usually not found on detectors in this price range, so we'll definitely give it a pro for that. All right, we'll try out the Dr. Otec digging tool. That one was showing two to three inches deep. Okay. Pinpointed good, it's right in the center of the hole. And that's gonna be a piece of banding or something. All right, let's move along to the next one. Okay, next target. That one's reading in the lower 90s, around 93. Let's see what we got. Digging tool actually seems pretty sturdy. We'll see how it holds up after a little use. bit deeper so 
that one's down there at least five inches or so and I just saw it pop out it's like it's gonna be a clad quarter all right so not bad let's move on to the next target okay target number three This one's hitting a little bit lower. Upper 60s to lower 70s. Really like the pinpoint on this. Right on it. This one's only about a couple inches deep. And there it is. Looks like, I believe that's going to be a zinc penny. Yep. So it can find coins. Not bad. So that was the Dr. Otec MTXR. We'll go over some of the pros and cons, starting with the pros, and right off the bat would have to be the price. For the detector only, this goes for right around $109 on Amazon, but at the time of this video, it's actually on sale for $93, bucks, which is a really good deal on this detector. I'll leave a link down in the uh, description below, and you can check pricing for yourself. Now, as far as the kit version of this, I'm not sure what the pricing is going to be. It's not going to be released until mid-May, so just check back on Amazon and keep an eye out for that. Other pros with this detector are that it's easy to use. It seems pretty well built. It's very lightweight. Has pretty good features. VCO pinpoint, backlit display, and decent depth. The only real con I've found with it is that it doesn't have embedded memory. And what I mean by that is if you turn off the machine and turn it back on, it's not going to remember your sensitivity or your discrimination settings. But that's not a deal breaker. It's pretty easy to set this machine up. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Happy hunting, and I'll see you next time.